I'm getting ready to install the fan, but before I start, I want to mention that I'm adding chapters to this video. So if you're interested in seeing the sound canceling mats, the light layout, or the fan, you can skip to those parts. Here are the times you can skip to, or you can use the chapters in YouTube. While I'm here, I also want to mention that if you haven't subscribed yet, take a second to click that button. Huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed. It's an easy way for you to support me continuing to make these videos. Now it's time to get started. Good morning everyone. Today I am putting up sound ending material in the van. It's going to be a very low key day. Now I've done some research on how this works and there's really two approaches. The first is to cover about 25% of your surface to help reduce vibrations and of course noise. The second is to just cover all of it so that it blocks the sound completely. I'm going to kind of go in the middle. I'm going to do a lot back here where the bed is and less on the walls. Give it a shot. If you have a dirty surface, you should clean it first. Since the van is pretty clean already, I'm just going for it. And then you're supposed to roll from the inside out. most of the roof done. If you come down here, this is what it sounds like with the sound deadening. And then I was just getting ready to do the last panel, but I wanted to test it. And that's what it sounds like without them. So you can hear that it has more of a ping down here and down here, it's more of a thump or a knock. Crazy. So I have it heavier down here where I'll be sleeping. I imagine that it'll rain and that it'll be pretty loud. So I have a lot of it down here and then I am still gonna put it up here so that if I'm driving and it's raining, it's not too loud. And then this spot is empty because that's where my fan is gonna go. It'll be interesting when I get in my first thunderstorm, what it sounds like. I am still gonna put a few on these panels just to limit the vibrations. And then maybe even on the back panels. Crazy, crazy. Here are the tools I've been using. You have the actual mat. There's a lot of different mats that you can choose. I assume they all work equally. I just picked this one. I have some heavy duty scissors that I already had and they've worked perfect. I got a roller. This was only $6, totally worth it. And then I definitely recommend gloves. You look at a piece before you put it on. It has this rectangle texture and then as you roll it on that kind of gets pushed down and you'll see that as i'm applying it it was only 33 dollars on amazon i'll put a link in the description and a link to the tool so you can see that too as i'm building the van my plan is to put as many links in the description as possible so if you're interested in the materials that i've used or how much some of them cost just check the description for details my arms are getting a little tired from rolling it onto the ceiling but it's time to finish this one up it could just be a placebo but i feel like the acoustics in the van are already better i'm happy i took the time to put all of these on but that's going to be it for today i will catch you tomorrow Today I'm going to start looking at electrical, I have lights to install, and the Max Air fan. I went with the Air Max Plus 4000. I wanted white. Since I have the medium roof, it should be really easy to operate. I just didn't need anything more. Instructions, which we will definitely use.
The only downside to this fan is that you can't use it in the rain because the cover doesn't fully cover it, but it should be fine. We'll have to shorten this up. Other than that, it should fit perfect. After unboxing the fan, I moved on to removing these plastic casings on the wires for the fan. They're big and bulky and I didn't need them. Luckily, I don't need to reuse the plastic casing because it didn't come off in one piece. Got it. Now that I have this black cover off down here, these are all the wires that are very important to the van, but this is where my lights actually connect. These lights and this wire connect into it right here. So I'm gonna unattach that before taking these out and then it should be safe to remove. But now that this isn't connected, it should be safer to take those lights out, which is what I'm doing next. I did scratch just two scratches. Now that I have everything out here and all the plastic molding down here, I'm going to measure out where I want my lights and just mark them. I put this up to kind of remind me where the fan is going to be. I think I'm going to evenly space out those lights right along here. Two in the front and two in the middle should light up the whole van. Day two of working on the fan. I'm going to start by cutting a template. I'll put that on the ceiling. Then we'll cut the hole. I'm also going to make a frame today. The fan requires a two inch frame. So I'm going to build a wood frame that we can put on the ceiling of the van. I'm going to glue that on tonight, let it set up, and then tomorrow we'll be able to install the fan. The opening for the fan is 14 by 14. So that's how big I'm going to make the template. Then I'm going to make the frame just a little, like a hair, a 16th bigger so that we can put it up there. Should be smooth. I have a piece of two by two, which is just under two inches on every side. It does recommend that you have a two inch piece of wood to screw the fan into. This should be plenty. I'm gonna make this about 14 and 1 16th so that the fan sits inside of it. And then I'm gonna glue it to the ceiling tomorrow. We'll screw down into it. I won't make a true frame just because it has to adjust for the roundness of the roof, but it should at least get us as far as we need to.
Well, I initially made the outside of the box 14 inches. Now I'm making the inside of the opening 14 inches long. So I recut a few. Two of them are useful, and I recut the other two. Should be smooth. Wouldn't be a very good project without at least one mistake. One recut, but that's not too bad. We got it done. Okay, we're ready to cut the hole in the van. Completely irreversible, but luckily my dad said that he would help me. We are going to use a drill for a pilot hole and then a pneumatic shear to cut the metal. The shear should make it more accurate and help reduce the like debris that comes off the roof. I want to order a window for the door and I'm waiting to see how this goes before ordering it. So hopefully it'll go really smoothly. We just set it in after cutting the hole. It looks pretty good. Now I need to file it down and paint it so that it doesn't rust. So far so good. Now that I've filed it down, I'm gonna add a little paint to any of the exposed metal and hopefully limit the amount of rust that might happen. There's sealant tape that we're gonna add when we put the fan on, but this should help give it another layer of protection. Okay, the paint is dry and it's ready to add the frame. So I have the frame ready to go. I have every clamp in the building. I'm gonna glue it down and clamp it overnight. And then tomorrow we should be able to add the fan with no problem. I'm gonna let all of this set up overnight. I'll be back tomorrow to drop in the fan. I'll see you then. Before we start, I just wanna make sure that the fan fits perfectly in the space. So I'm gonna do that first and then I'm gonna add the butte tape and then screw it down. I'm gonna start by putting the butyl tape on the lip of the fan. The fan is officially in. I can't believe that it's done. That I honestly can't believe that that way as smoothly as it did. Drilling the pilot hole was definitely the way to go, especially since we had to go through the metal of the van. It's solid, it's in. I just need some sealant around the edge and it'll be all set. When I showed up this morning, I was kind of dreading putting in the fan, not even like procrastinating because I knew I was gonna do it but I was really worried that it wouldn't go well, that one of these of the wood frame wouldn't hold, 
or anything like that. Like I was just worried that something would go wrong. I don't like ladders, as you may have noticed. I just can't believe it worked. <laughs> um, for height, I mean, I'm definitely not gonna be doing any jumping jacks in here, but I'm happy that this is low enough to walk under. So if I'm not thinking about it, I won't bump my head. But again, I have my shoes on and I probably won't have shoes on very much in the van. That is it for this video. I will catch you next week where we start working on the ceiling, the insulation, and the walls. <laughs> it's fine, I caught my balance. <laughs> I'm sick at ladders.